right, everybody. Oh, happy day. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to share with you a little bit about unveiling the mystery of compensation in the final expense world. Sometimes it can be confusing if you've never done insurance or you've never stepped into the 1099 space of final expense. So I hope this video helps you and serves you well. JasonFinalExpense.com. I train, I partner, I recruit and hire some of the best agents across the nation. So if you need help, reach out. But I hope this video serves you well. So you've started your insurance career and they tell you that, come on, sell some insurance and you don't understand how you get paid or how it works. So I'm going to hopefully explain this in very simple terms. Okay, You sell a policy. That's the most important thing, right? Sell the contract, meet the need. That's very important, so make sure you've got the skills necessary to sell these policies and make the magic happen. But they're going to give you words that are kind of like buzzwords, AP, right? And you're like, what in the world's AP? AP stands for Annualized Premium, okay? So let's say you sell a policy for $83.33 a month. Rough estimate, you're at $1,000 of annualized premium. That just means that's what the policy works out to at the end of the year, okay? 12 payments of 83.33333, okay, is gonna be $1,000 of AP. If you're at a 100% comp schedule, okay, then you're gonna have $750 advanced. It's called a nine month advance, like a loan, okay? But it really equates to 75% in simple math. A lot of times when we think about like, oh, it's a nine month advance, you're like, what in the world does that mean, right? So what that means to you is if you have a, $83 a month payment, times it by 12, okay? And this particular company that I'm chatting about, they don't haircut you on policy fees. So that's really nice to have a carrier like that. They also don't haircut you in commission based on age. That's also a huge blessing when you're an insurance agent. It's real simple to understand. So if you take somebody, okay, at $83.33 a month, that's $1,000 of annualized premium. The insurance companies will only advance when it's checking and savings business. That means it's got to be involved with a routing number, an account number, like a savings account with a, okay, a routing number attached. If it's a debit card, you're not going to get advanced, okay? It just won't happen. You're not going to get advanced if they use a credit card, Direct Express, Visa, things of that nature. That's why as an insurance agent, it's a better, okay, persistency and a better piece of business if you can Get a check or the routing number and checking account number. It's the best way to do business if you can, but don't shy away from credit card business either. Okay, these sweet people need you. Write debit business as well, but understand how you get compensated so that you can run your business like a business because you guys, that's what it is. So if you took, okay, Direct Express business or debit card business because they didn't have their checkbook around, they didn't have the routing number and account number, and you sold a policy for $83.33 a month. How you're gonna get paid, if it was a card, you're gonna get paid every month like clockwork. The company gets paid $83.33 for that month at 100% commission. You then will get $83.33 deposited into your account when that takes place. That's how it works if it's debit card business, okay? And if it's a percentage less, I'm just doing 100% for simple math, okay? And every product's different, okay? But for this example, if you're at 100% comp, $83 a month, if it's debit card business, it would be deposits of $83 every month, okay? So if the money is taken out on the third of the month, then every third of the month, plus or minus a day or two, click, 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 you're getting paid, okay? So at the end of a 12-month period, that full $1,000 made its way into your checking account, but it's kind of like an allowance from your parents. As the company gets it, then the company kind of gives it to you. But if you get and are trained well and get the routing number, the checking information, and they do it as a EFT, electronic funds transfer, from their checking or savings, this is how it really works. So you took $83 today and the company got the money out of the bank account tomorrow, the insurance company is going to advance you nine months, which is 75% here. Sorry, I'm not Vanna White, but that's going to be $750 in your pocket. Now, that's not the full $1,000, right? So... Annualized premium, once again, is AP, insurance ease, right? But $750 right now is paid to you. And then on month 10, 11, and 12, the remainder of the $250 will be deposited into your account. So money that you do, okay, the insurance policies that you sell in January, 
all right? If you sell January, you're going to get that front, poof, it's like, whoosh. okay, it's a loan from the company. As long as that policy stays on the books, okay, this will be paid to you and you won't have a charge back, okay? So now if the client, okay, doesn't pay the policy, it doesn't, you don't, aren't writing like good business and the policy goes sideways, you will be paying whatever percentage of this, okay, you're going to pay that back. So if the client only kept the policy for, let's say, six months, you're going to be on the hook for writing that check back to the insurance company because the advance, okay, is a loan, okay? It's advanced. It's like living on credit a little bit. So just understand that. Write good business. You got nothing to worry about, okay? That's why persistency matters in insurance. That's the business that stays on the books, all right? A good agent won't have an issue with persistency. But if this business stays on the books, after nine months, okay, that's 75%, you're going to get paid October you wrote it in January, October, November, and December, the remainder of the money will be deposited kind of like the as earned thing. But it's kind of nice, easier for your business to understand this. So when you first get paid, poof, right? It happens right away. As long as the business stays on the books, okay? Then in final expense, at if you're at 100% comp, just for easy examples for you guys, okay? You're going to be at 750 advanced because it's just nine months. And if you wrote a credit card or direct express business, or something like that, then don't expect to get advanced, okay? It's gonna be like an allowance from your parents. Click, click, click. Whatever you took for simple math, it's gonna be distributed accordingly. So I hope that helps with some of the mystery of compensation. Um, when you're writing like guaranteed issue business, it's much less compensation, but it's all the same, okay? Typical, some companies are only like a six month advance, right? There are certain ones that are six month advance or $600, whatever is greater. And then it's like it's distributed to you. So in the course of 12 months, you know you can always chart your course, know that that money will be deposited and sent to your bank. But I hope this takes away some of the mystery and the, you know, when people are like, oh, it's a nine-month advance. What does that mean? That's how this really works. Now, there's a difference between getting paid on settle and getting paid on issue. I would highly advise you as insurance agents, if you can, get paid on settle not on issue. Because let's say you transpose the checking account numbers accidentally or the client transposed them to you through no fault of your own. And let's say the insurance company issues the business. Okay, let's say $83. It's 100%, for example. Boom. If they just issue it, but the insurance company didn't get the money yet, they're loaning you on money they haven't been paid on, right? So boom, $750 hits your bank account. Well, what happens if, okay, the client gave you the wrong account number? You get a chargeback. Whoop, you owe that company back all that money they paid you. I would prefer not to deal with that. I think it's a better way to do business to get paid, not on issue, but get paid on settle. So when the insurance company settles up, right, with the client, when the client pays them, when the money transfers hands to the insurance company, then you get paid. I think it's just a wiser way to do it. I'd rather get paid when the insurance company gets paid because then you're not like fighting the current right? I want to make sure that if the insurance company gets paid, fine, then pay me, please. But if the insurance company never gets the money, please don't write me a check. It's a pain in the britches, right, to be playing the back and forth game. So write good business. Don't shy away from as earned business with checking or debit cards. It's a good thing to write. Take care of it, big or small. Just meet your client's needs the way that they desire you to help them, serve them well. And I hope this finds you well. I hope this brings you some value. And just understand, nine months, okay, advance is just 75%, okay? Real simple, real easy. But once you understand it and you take away the whole insurance ease of issue or settle or annualized premium, okay, now you understand it enough to make a business plan and work hard. Have a good night, you guys. If you need help, reach out. Have a great night. Bye-bye.